most, uh, it's barbaric, of course, but to some, it's a traditional practice. What's clear is that the victims of female genital mutilation can be found in countries across the globe. A shocking new report found that in one borough right here in London, almost one in 20 women is actually a victim. A warning that some may find Atika Schubert's report disturbing. Summer sun shines on some of London's cutting edge architecture just south of the Thames River in Southwark Borough. But newly released data shows a dark side to this part of London. FGM, also known as female genital mutilation, has made its way here with the migrants who have been affected. The numbers are shocking. Anti-FGM campaign group Equality Now says that one in 20 women here in Southwark Borough are estimated to have undergone FGM, the highest prevalence in Britain. The data comes from an estimate of the number of women from FGM prevalent countries now living in the UK. It's said to be practiced in 29 countries, mostly in Africa. And UNICEF estimates that over 125 million women and girls have had these types of procedures worldwide. Isoto and Renata are two survivors of FGM, originally from Gambia, now in London. They spoke to us last year. The worst part of it was when you have to go and squat. Um, they made a little hole on the ground and you have to go and squat in it so they can, the blood can come out. I find that really disgusting because um, Nice. There's other kids. There's other kids next to you as well, crying. Mm -hmm. When you go up there, you just think that's normal, you know. And then you just find out that that's really wrong. No child should ever have to go through that. Since September 2014, Britain's National Health Service is now required to register all cases of FGM at fines. So far, nearly 4,000 cases have been newly identified, an average of 500 a month. This year, in an unprecedented case, the UK issued a protection order to prevent two young girls from being taken out of the country for fear they were destined for a circumcision ceremony abroad something Isoto and Renata vow will never happen to their daughters. I was like, there's no way anyone's doing that to my daughter, and if they do, I'll make sure they go to prison for it. And um, at first she's like, oh, you guys, are like, you've taken up the culture here so much. You're African, um, this is our culture. We found it here, we have to continue it. And I was like, no, mom, not with me. The data on FGM survivors is still being collected, but these numbers are one way, campaigners say, to shine a light on an issue that's been kept in the dark for far too long. Atika Schubert, CNN, London.